there's three different categories of meditation. Focus attention, open monitoring, automatic self-transcending. Focus attention, those are the meditations where you keep your mind on one experience. It's your stereotypical staring at the candle. There's just one thing in your awareness and that's all that's there. Open monitoring, you allow all experiences to pass through your awareness without manipulating, without control, you're just watching them. Automatic self-transcending is any meditation that goes beyond its steps of practice. The first two meditations start with thinking. Automatic self-transcending meditations start with thinking but end up with being, wakefulness. They're taking the mind to its inner source of silence, of wakefulness, of alertness. So let's take the next step. Whenever you're focusing, this is what your brain is doing. It's working really hard. And when it's working really hard, the brain wave is very fast. It's called gamma. It goes up and down 20 to 50 times per second. Open monitoring, when you're just watching internal processing, the brain wave that you see is called theta. Theta 2 goes up and down 6 to 8 times per second. You see this whenever your attention is turned within and you're following mental processes. The third category, automatic self-transcending. Whenever your attention is just awake and turned within, the brain wave you see looks like this. It's called alpha 1, goes up and down 8 to 10 times per second. And notice that the alpha 1 pattern is seen throughout the whole brain. Because when the whole brain is moving from thinking just to being or wakefulness, so we see that the brain pattern is moving to its foundational state, alpha pattern. So let's go to the next step. What's happening in terms of neural imaging? Researchers have looked at brain metabolic rate during Buddhist focus meditation techniques, and this is what they see. This is looking uh, top down, nose is up at the top. And what you're seeing is the whole brain is more active. And this makes sense, because in focus attention, you're using lots of resources. And so all brain areas are more active during focus attention meditation. Let's go to open monitoring. Researchers have looked at blood flow patterns during open monitoring. And what they see as seen in this brain is a small spot in the front of the brain is more active. This is the part of the brain that switches attention. It's called the anterior cingulate gyrus. And if you have a meditation that switches attention from one experience to another, that's the part of the brain that you'll use. But how about automatic self-transcending? This is showing blood flow patterns during the process of transcending. This is during transcendental meditation practice. And what you're seeing is one area of the brain, the front of the brain, has increased blood flow, as indicated by the red color, while the core of the brain, the brain stem, has decreased blood flow, as indicated by the blue color. So what you're seeing here is an interesting state, an interesting blood flow pattern in which that part of the brain which has to do with getting you revved up, getting you going, that is the brain stem, that's more quiet. With that part of the brain that has to do with attention, wakefulness, alertness, the front part of the brain, we see that there's increased blood flow here. So our next step is researchers, as we went to the literature and asked, what are the EEG patterns seen during different meditation practices? So what meditations produce gamma? These are meditations which focus the mind and they include Zen meditation. They include compassion meditation, Qigong, um, Diamond Way Buddhism, and also Vipassana from the Goenka tradition. We then asked what meditations are reported to produce theta activity. And what we found was mindfulness, Zazen, also Kriya Yoga. And then we asked what meditations produce Alpha One. And what we found were all the studies on transcendental meditation and also a single case study, a 45-year case study, of a Qigong master. So when he first started his Qigong meditation, what was reported was gamma EEG, which is seen in any focused attention meditation. After 45 years practice, his meditation had become automatic, and as soon as he started his meditation, the literature reports this alpha-1 EEG. Now a distinction here with transcendental meditation is the effortlessness is built in. It doesn't have to take 
It, it doesn't result from many long years of practice, but it's built into the process in which you use the natural tendency of the mind. So they get the value of transcending from the very beginning. Let's go one step farther. So there's three categories of meditation. They have different procedures, they have different brainwave patterns, they have different neural imaging patterns. What's their take home in terms of the application? But what we see is meditations and focus attention, open monitoring. What they're doing is consciously constructing mental tools during the meditation to use after the meditation. Using mental tools to cope with specific situations. The mind is like a tool and meditations in these categories teach you how to use the mind in a different way. Use the mind in a different way to take care of a specific um, situation. Automatic self-transcending is different. It's not consciously constructing mental states, but rather it's automatically changing your overall mental state. What it's doing is changing the mind, which then has experiences. What we see here is sharpening the knife. In this analogy, meditations in the automatic self-transcending category aren't teaching you how to use the knife in a specific way, but they're taking the knife and sharpening it. So I think you've seen now that meditations have different categories, different procedures, different EEG patterns, different neural imaging patterns, different benefits. So next time you hear the word meditation, I hope that you'll remember this. Remember that meditations are different. 